درود بر شما دوستان و همراهان در خدمت شما این با یکی دیگر از کلیپ های ارزنده و آموزشی انگلیسی مستحاب خوردن و در این درس یک داستان بسیار احساسی رو با هم مرور خواهیم کرد و از اون چیزهای بسیار خوبی یاد خواهیم گرفت در این داستان هر جمله برای شما سه بار تکرار میشه یک بار با سرعت کند و شمرده شمرده یک بار با سرعت کمی آهسته تر از حالت نرمال و در ادامه یک بار به صورت نرمال که شما فرصت این رو داشته باشید که بتونید دقیقا نحوه تلفظ و بیان درست داستان رو و جملات رو و لغات رو یاد بگیرید و بتونید بیان بکنید تکنیکی که شما باید استفاده بکنید برای یادگیری و تمرین با این داستان این است که باید هنگامی که دارید بیان میکنید یعنی به صورت کند وقتی که برای شما بیان میشه شما باید سعی بکنید بخونید و همچنین موقعی که کند بیان میشه و به صورت نرمال صدای خودتون رو هنگام بیان باید ضبط بکنید و با نحوه بیان و تلفظ در این درس مقایسه بکنید تا ببینید اگر اشتباهی در بیانتون و تلفظتون وجود داره بتونید اون رو پیدا بکنید و رفع بکنید این تکنیک و اجرای اون در این داستان و در این سری از داستان ها باعث خواهد شد که شما بتونید رشد خوبی در خوندنتون و اسپیکینگتون داشته باشید پس فراموش نکنید که حتما این تکنیک رو اجرا بکنید و گام به گام با این درس پیش بیایید و این داستان رو در انتها شما باید به صورت نرمال و روون بتونید بخونید بسیار خوب بپردازیم به داستان مادر من و چشمش در انگلیسی My mom and her eye My mom and her eye. My mom and her eye. My mom only had one eye. I hated her. My mom only had one eye. I hated her. My mom only had one eye. I hated her. She was such an embarrassment. She was such an embarrassment. She was such an embarrassment. She cooked for students and teachers to support the family. She cooked for students and teachers to support the family. She cooked for students and teachers to support the family. One day during elementary school, my mom came to say hello to me and see me. One day during elementary school, my mom came to say hello to me and see me. One day during elementary school, my mom came to say hello to me and see me. I was so embarrassed. How could she do this to me? I was so embarrassed. How could she do this to me? I was so embarrassed. How could she do this to me? I ignored her through her a hateful look and ran out. I ignored her through her a hateful look and ran out. I ignored her, threw her a hateful look, and ran out.
the next day at school one of my classmates said eh your mom only has one eye the next day at school one of my classmates said eh your mom only has one eye the next day at school one of my classmates said Eh, hey, your mom only has one eye. I wanted to bury myself. I also wanted my mom to just disappear. I wanted to bury myself. I also wanted my mom to just disappear. I wanted to bury myself. I also wanted my mom to just disappear. I confronted her next day and said, If you want to make me happy, why don't you just die? I confronted her next day and said, If you want to make me happy, why don't you just die? I confronted her next day and said, If you want to make me happy, why don't you just die? My mom did not respond. My mom did not respond. My mom didn't respond. I did not even stop to think for a second about what I had said because I was full of anger. I didn't even stop to think for a second about what I had said. I didn't even stop to think for a second about what I had said because I was full of anger. I was oblivious to her feelings. I was oblivious to her feelings. I was oblivious to her feelings. I wanted to be out of that house and have nothing to do with her. I wanted to be out of that house and have nothing to do with her. I wanted to be out of that house and have nothing to do with her. So I studied real hard, got a chance to go to Singapore to study. So I studied real hard, got a chance to go to Singapore to study. So I studied real hard, got a chance to go to Singapore to study. Then I got married. I bought a house of my own. I had Kids of my own. Then I got married. I bought a house of my own. I had kids of my own. Then I got married. I bought a house of my own. I had kids of my own.
I was happy with my life, my kids, and the comforts. I was happy with my life, my kids, and the comforts. I was happy with my life, my kids, and the comforts. Then one day, my mother came to visit me. Then one day, my mother came to visit me. Then one day, my mother came to visit me. She had not seen me in years and she did not even meet her grandchildren. She hadn't seen me in years and she didn't even meet her grandchildren. She hadn't seen me in years and she didn't even meet her grandchildren. When she stood by the door, my children laughed at her, and I yelled at her for coming over uninvited. When she stood by the door, my children laughed at her, and I yelled at her for coming over uninvited. When she stood by the door, my children laughed at her, and I yelled at her for coming over uninvited. I screamed at her, How dare you come to my house and scare my children? Get out of here now! I screamed at her, how dare you come to my house and scare my children, get out of here now. I screamed at her, how dare you come to my house and scare my children, get out of here now. And to this my mother quietly answered, Oh, I'm so sorry. I may have gotten the wrong address. And she disappeared out of sight. And to this, my mother quietly answered, Oh, I'm sorry. I may have gotten the wrong address. And she disappeared out of sight. And to this, my mother quietly answered, Oh, I'm so sorry, I may have gotten the wrong address, and she disappeared out of sight. One day, a letter regarding a school reunion came to my house in Singapore. One day, a letter regarding a school reunion came to my house in Singapore. One day, a letter regarding a school reunion came to my house in Singapore. But I lied to my wife that I was going on a business trip. But I lied to my wife that I was going on a business trip. But I lied to my wife that I was going on a business trip. After the reunion, I went to the old shack just out of curiosity. 
After the reunion, I went to the old shack just out of curiosity. After the reunion, I went to the old shack just out of curiosity. My neighbors said that she is died. My neighbors said that she's died. My neighbors said that she's died. I did not shed a single tear. I didn't shed a single tear. I didn't shed a single tear. They handed me a letter that she had wanted me to have. They handed me a letter that she had wanted me to have. They handed me a letter that she had wanted me to have. My dearest son, I think of you all the time. I am sorry that I came to Singapore and scared your children. My dearest son, I think of you all the time. I'm sorry that I came to Singapore and scared your children. My dearest son, I think of you all the time. I'm sorry that I came to Singapore and scared your children. I was so glad when I heard you were coming for the reunion. I was so glad when I heard you were coming for the reunion. I was so glad when I heard you were coming for the reunion. But I may not be able to even get out of bed to see you. But I may not be able to even get out of bed to see you. But I may not be able to even get out of bed to see you. I am sorry that I was a constant embarrassment to you when you were growing up. I'm sorry that I was a constant embarrassment to you when you were growing up. I'm sorry that I was a constant embarrassment to you when you were growing up. You see, when you were very little, you got into an accident and lost your eye. You see, when you were very little, you got into an accident and lost your eye. You see, when you were very little, you got into an accident and lost your eye. As a mother, I couldn't stand watching you having to grow up with one eye. As a mother, I couldn't stand watching you having to grow up with one eye. As a mother, I couldn't stand watching you having to grow up with one eye.
So I gave you mine. So I gave you mine. So I gave you mine. I was so proud of my son who was seeing a whole new world for me in my place with that eye. I was so proud of my son who was seeing a whole new world for me in my place with that eye. I was so proud of my son who was seeing a whole new world for me in my place with that eye. With my love to you. With my love to you. With my love to you. خیلی هم خوب داستان بسیار احساسی و جالبی رو با هم خوندیم حالا میخوایم یک کار بسیار حالا میخوایم خودمون رو محک بزنیم یک بار با همدیگه داستان رو از ابتدا با سرعت نرمال و روون بخونیم که هم بتونیم خودمون رو محک بزنیم ببینیم چقدر یاد گرفتیم و اگر به این سطح روان بودن و نرمال بودن در خوندنمون نرسیدیم معنیش این است که دوباره باید برگردیم و داستان رو از ابتدا گام به گام دقیقا طبق سوتو مختلفی که براتون بیان شد چه مرده چه مرده با سرعت کند و با سرعت نرمال براتون خونده شد دوباره تمرین کنید دوباره صدای خودتون رو ضبط بکنید و با نحوه بیان و تلفظ در این درس مقایسه بکنید تا اشتباهاتتون رو رفت بکنید تا بتونید دقیقا به صورت نرمال و روون این داستان رو بخونید شما اگر این درس رو عمیق یاد بگیرید قطعا تأثیر و نتیجه بسیار عالی تری در یادگیریتون خواهید داشت تا اینکه این درس رو بیخیال شید و برید درس بعدی حالا با هم یک بار دیگه داستان مادرم و چشمش رو با هم به صورت روون میخونیم و تکرار میکنیم My mom and her eye My mom only had one eye I hated her She was such an embarrassment she cooked for students and teachers to support the family. One day during elementary school, my mom came to say hello to me and see me. I was so embarrassed. How could she do this to me? I ignored her, threw her a hateful look and ran out. The next day at school, one of my classmates said, Eh, hey, your mom only has one eye. I wanted to bury myself. I also wanted my mom to just disappear. I confronted her next day and said, if you want to make me happy, why don't you just die? My mom didn't respond. I didn't even stop to think for a second about what I had said, because I was full of anger. I was oblivious to her feelings. I wanted to be out of that house and have nothing to do with her. So I studied real hard, got a chance to go to Singapore to study. Then I got married. I bought a house of my own, I had kids of my own. I was happy with my life, my kids and the comforts. Then one day my mother came to visit me. She hadn't seen me in years and she didn't even meet her grandchildren. When she stood by the door, my children laughed at her and I yelled at her for coming over uninvited. I screamed at her, how dare you come to my house and scare my children, get out of here now. And to this, my mother quietly answered, Oh, I'm so sorry, I may have gotten the wrong address, and she disappeared out of sight. One day, a letter regarding a school reunion came to my house in Singapore. But I lied to my wife that I was going on a business trip. After the reunion, I went to the old shack just out of curiosity. My neighbors said that she's died. I didn't shed a single tear. They handed me a letter that she had wanted me to have. My dearest son, I think of you all the time. I'm sorry that I came to Singapore and scared your children. I was so glad when I heard you were coming for the reunion. 
but I may not be able to even get out of bed to see you. I'm sorry that I was a constant embarrassment to you when you were growing up. You see, when you were very little, you got into an accident and lost your eye. As a mother, I couldn't stand watching you having to grow up with one eye. So I gave you mine. I was so proud of my son who was seeing a whole new world for me in my place with that eye. With, with my, my love, love to you. you.